Good evening, Cena streamers. Do you think we'll see the end of Act 1? Do you think Act 1 never ends? Hmm? Hmm? Do you? Ponder that while I hit you with the three-minute ad banishment ritual of ads. <laughs> it read... <laughs> ad banishment as advantage. That's funny. Anyway... Ooh, I will take this opportunity to say uh, a couple things. I did futz around off stream. I didn't progress anything. I just experimented with some uh, of my quick saves just to test a couple things. And uh, I found out, I think I missed something in the area with the fake Paladins of Tear. So I want to go back there when I can. And uh, also, the whole thing with the Zaythisk could have gone very differently, and should have gone very differently, because uh, I don't know if I actually looked at this last time, but Lazelle's over here rocking some seemingly permanent debuffs, really fucking nasty ones. So, six points total reduced from her general statistics. Wisdom, intelligence, and constitution. So, she's severely nerfed. Seemingly permanently. And that sucks. A lot. And the, uh... <laughs> the tip here is, perhaps consuming more illithid parasites would mend your broken mind. But the thing is, Lazelle absolutely will not do that. Absolutely will not. So, uh... Huh. I don't know about that. Anyway, turns out there's invisible checks that she failed. And I say invisible because they weren't in the chat log. They do not appear in the chat log. At all. Or at least they didn't when I experimented. Also, um, even though all my characters, all my players, including my, my Nellian, were in the same room, we weren't standing close enough for, I want to say, two-thirds of that potential encounter to even be possible. Which really sucks. So, I, I did see it. But uh, if you plan to do some shit with the Zathisk... I would recommend having all of your characters stand very fucking close. Because there's some whack-ass proximity shit in this game. Also like how uh, we had that weird quest progression glitch in in the area before getting the Blood of Lathander. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it is super duper overtime for overdue time for getting a long rest. So we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go to camp. We're gonna take a rest. Where are we? Which camp is this? Oh, just kidding, Lazelle. You can Let's go chill at your your tent. You're fine. Oh, interesting. I went back to the very beginning of the mountain pass, and our camp is <laughs> over in the monastery anyway. This is part of the Authority. the old fountain or whatever. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna be so sad if this bless effect wears off or the the morning lord radiance. Oh boy, what have I sent to chest it? I've got containers of containers, which I think I I put in this barrel, right? This is my container container. It sure is. My barrel o barrels. And other things. Mm. 
Oh boy, howdy, I've got so much junk. You go in the teddy bear, don't you? Yes, you do. Up. And then we have our wicker chest of wares. So the junk that I intend to sell at some point, maybe if I ever leave a vendor with enough gold to do so. <laughs> wow, it's a lot of leather armor. Water, water, petal, petal, bone. Do we handle stack? Ooh, they do. Lovely. Oh my gosh, I have so much junk. You know what? Sort. <gasps> I took so many Yankee weapons. <laughs> long sword. Wait, why? Yankee long sword, six to eighteen damage, versatile. Give me seven to nineteen damage. Why is this one? A is this just a plus one? Is that the difference? Ah, it is. Okay, I see. Heavy crossbow. Plus one. Alright, um. Boy, howdy. How many of these damn things do we have now? Ooh. Oh, that's wrong. Sorry, sorry. Wrong bag. Five. We have ten. Oh, I also wanted to check if there were any difference in description. Hanging suspended murky slime, the living tadpole. Looks like some hideous cousin to the slug. Only gorged and slick with remnants of brain fluid. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They are all the same. Okay. Wicker box of wares. Mm -hmm. I think all of that, right? Plop. We've got bottles. So many bottles. Do they not stack? Truly incredible. Oh, it's the jug. Oh, no. Oh goodness, I have robbed so many things. Cup of oil, I hate you. Get over here, we'll sell that shit. Awful. It didn't do anything that I wanted it to. Wait, where's my camp supplies? <laughs> here it is. Boop. How many, wait, I have, oh that's right, I got the short shovels. That's what the other thing is. Right. First of all, first of all, any more? Yes, I have so many containers. Let's get the containers out of the way. Extra barrels, extra boxes. Bam. Part of it. Oh, just getting missing some more backpacks. And one more chest. Sort again. Lovely. Look at all these containers. So many containers. Alright, um, you can be a knickknack. Sure. Here, 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 here. Let's open the book book. Book book. I would like to store some literature. Boop. This goes in the wicker wear box. Plop. 
bottle, 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 bottle. What's that? Food. Oh, is that also a bottle? It is. Boop. Food. Food. Jewel things. Candle. Would you like to stack? Oh my god, you would. That's so nice. Crap of water. Egg. Cool. Wasn't it cute? I'm like, we're gonna do a long rest. Just kidding. Inventory simulator. that truck in here. Oh, 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 wait. Okay. Bubbling cauldron. I love that it says it's a bonus action. Oh, what does it do? Can you, like, coat your weapon in it, I suppose? I'm unsure. Oh. I think when I got this, it didn't have a description. An aged blue stained scrap of paper within the locket reads To Marina, will you go to the summer fair with me from Connor? P.S. These bluebells are from Mog Rundy's patch. <laughs> Please don't tell. That's cute. Too bad they're, well, husband was dead before I knew about it, and uh, she got knocked out and therefore counts as dead. Round flasks? That drug in there. Knick knack. Sure. Where's. Mm. Mm. Dark oil liquid inside this tank pulsates slowly, keeping time with your own breath. Okay. I'm not sure what to do with that, honestly. Don't they put you? Pearl. Food. Oh, we did go scavenge so, so much. Scrolling. Camp supplies. Nice. Those two go together. Quicker wares. Small shovels. Easy to transport or hide. 1.2 pounds and 2 gold versus a standard shovel, which is. They weigh exactly the same, actually. Don't they? Let me see. Oh no! Half a pound. Point war, point six. And one gold. Whereas... These bad boys... Nope, never mind. Regular shovel weighs exactly the same. That's so funny. Shovels can be used to dig up wondrous bounties hidden beneath the earth. Does this one also have that? Oh, the small shovel does not have that description. Interesting. Okay. I will simply sell the small shovels then. I thought they would work interchangeably. That is not correct, apparently. 
Boop. Uh, which also means... Oh, jeez. Okay, too many windows open. Fair enough. Okay, money things. <laughs> Towels. Crafty thing. Boop. Alright, this one's a knickknack for sure. Surgery kits. Meat, cups, whatever. Water, water, water. What a happy little sort. None of these stack? Are you really quite sure? There are three distinct types of rope. Hmm, spooky. How about these bones? Spooky. Oh, this leather armor is a different color. Dark, messy stains line the armholes of the well-used leather breastplate. Same description, though. Huh. Can we stack? Not nearly enough. Got some extra torches. Bunch of pots that don't stack either. Amazing. Incredible. Tempted to put that in the knickknack there, but perhaps not. All right, where's my little op opulent chest? Or no, gilded chest. Yeah, gilded chest with nested jewelry bag. Right, right, right. Okay. Plop. Mm -hmm. Silver ingots, a gold ingot, we have infernal iron, uh, times two, and an alloy still, okay, onyx, pearl, more agate, Two things for the clothing bag, and an absolute mess of things to throw into the gear bag. Hmm. Pretty topaz. Pretty ruby. Should be fine. Patched together, that's the cursed potions, yes. Knickknacks, dead people, camp supplies. Two, volume three, four, five, six. Wow, I wonder if that's a complete collection. That's so nice. Volume 2 and 3 of Tenebrook's Morrow. I thought I'd read more than that. I wonder if I forgot to pick one up. Hmm. Of 
four, eight. Oh my gosh, there's so many traveler's guides. Alright, book book is done done. Very good, very good. Alright, next. Oh, right. Just plain wine. Do you stack with any of the other wines? Are, are you really a, a unique wine? Huh. <laughs> They're all unique wines? <laughs> oh, okay. Nope, that's different. Alright. Oh, not the Ithbonk not stacking, too. Okay, those ones, too. Frost kiss. Alright. As Melter. No. Those ones. I, I really would love to know why some of these are coded differently. Are they different size bottles? Hmm. Um, what's that one? Baldur's Grape, Ashaba, Arkenhort, Blackstaff. Carafe, Carafe. Eh? No. Gruel. Gulfmarin Reserve. Best left to truly discerning palates, this wine may be too austere for its own good. What? Hmm. Eggy. Schnorshish. Yeah, alright. I have two coffee. And one cinnamon roll. And so many rotated fish. For root porridge, that's cute. potatoes Really? Hmm. Supply packs Jim Ken. Okay, is that all of the camp supplies moderately sorted? So many weaponized salamis. I think I got all the doubles stacked up. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Boop. And next, this is for my good shit. I guess I did put all the plus one stuff in here too. Um, heavy crossbow. Alright, sure. Flip. This I'm leaving out along with that shield because I want them to be easy access. Putting this shadow heart back in my party, I believe. Alright, these are all normal weapons. Oh look, yeah, see rusty things. I totally could have left rusty uh weapons on the Lathander altars. I mean I did leave one there, but I just substituted regular ones for the rest. And the ceremonial weapons should be Yep, right up here. Ceremonial Warhammer, Ceremonial Mace, Ceremonial Longsword, Ceremonial Battle Axe. I took them all. They're mine now. Alright, let's go to that chest. Then we open this bad boy. Opulent. Oh, 
I have a normal shovel in there too. Okay, you know what? That's fair. Here we go. Boop. More shovels. Sounds good. Battle Ward Blade. That's where all my normal crap goes. Which I should definitely, probably, sell some of. But will I? Probably not. I don't think I'll run into a merchant that can handle that. Yep. Okay. Right, right, right. Boots, boots, boots. Quite fashionable. Leather, leather, leather. Simple, simple, simple. Tidy slender boots. These boots are well maintained. Well maintained and clean, though their soles are thin from wear. Drow leather, leather bracers, leather gloves, leather gloves, leather gloves, metallic gloves. Many shields. Hmm. Plate armor. And last but not least, let me put these away. And shoes. Boop. That is pretty good. Poor Nellian's inventory. It is suffering. Oh, damn it. Camp supply sack. Where are you hiding? Thank you. Need you to go into this one. Thanks. Hmm. <sighs> Balins. This is where I have quest items. God, why? Why are they all opening behind this window? Suffering. Yeah, quest items. Okay. Come on, back up. No, 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 no. I didn't want you to leave the chest. Here. <laughs> Arrows, keys, scrolls, potions, antidotes, but the but the but the but the potions. So coins. Hmm. Regular shovel. Oh, plain longsword. That can go away. I don't need that. That is... Brain. Brain. This one? Yeah. Flaming a fist helmet, just a plus one con saving throws, medium armor. Blip. Using that, okay. Plain dagger. That's fine. Um. Acid vial missive from Moonrise. We've just got so many good things. So many. I'm over here like, oh, could I split my potions up? Would that help? No, they weigh nothing. <laughs> Two pounds. Not even three pounds. Where's all my weight? My alchemy pouch remains the greatest offender. Oh yeah, I did. Ooh, crossbow. What was this one again? Let's see. What you do? Infuse your crossbow bolts with arcane energy. A ranged weapon attack deals an additional d4 force damage. Once per short rest. Mm. 
And it's a heavy crossbow. I've only got a handful of people who can even use that. Eh. I think I'll send that <laughs> to camp. Up, 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 but up. What's that? Oh, yeah, 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 right. Okay, this bad boy is 8.1 pounds. I am, nope, to camp with you. You may wait. Hammerhaft, love ya. We're, we're actually gonna equip that again. Boop. My scroll pouch weighs almost four pounds. That's kind of funny. Oh, I did also read, um, part of the reason why... No, it wouldn't be that one, huh? Dead. No picture for the create an undead servant from a corpse. Okay. Wall of fire. Where's? Hmm. There's a chance I picked up a scroll earlier, or missed a scroll that was special. I was watching Neil do uh, his play, the voice actor for Asterion, and he ended up with a interesting scroll early on. Okay. Um, I do plan on letting Lazal chill in camp, but... I guess I would have to take all her goodies first, huh? Because there's no way in hell I'm going to retire the adamantine scale mail. Nope, nope, nope. No, no, nope, nope. Oh, God, I had her holding a bunch of stuff, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. Trouble, trouble. Boy, all right. Terribly so. Okay, it's a plain short sword. We've got plus ones. That can go to camp. Also, she just doesn't get to keep much of anything here. Sorry, Gail, you've got the emptiest pockets. You get to be pack horse for a few minutes here. Actually, oh, I already sent it to camp, didn't I? <laughs> I should have just let her... Here, you, you can have a javelin. You're, you're not completely, uh, unequipped. Oh, boy, howdy. I really had a lot of stuff in her pockets, huh? Cacophony? Quarterstaff. Huh. Oh, here, I, I do have some plus one... Gatinky short sword, Gatinky long sword, Gatinky great sword. Here you go, girly. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not mean to do whatever the fuck that was. Don't, don't they go? Where'd go? Please return to me the Gatinky great sword. Hello? There it is. You may have that. It is yours. Did I leave any graceful claw? Dexterity increased by two, maximum twenty. Ooh. That's pretty fun, but I still think all that's better. However, Starion can hold on to it for now. <laughs> I have so many things. Oh yeah, the other thing. She does already have a Gatianki crossbow. Alright. You keep a short sword with you. you keep a long sword. You can keep you already have a crossbow, so. You can keep your torch. We do not get to keep that or these. 
Zell's underwear. No, you can keep your undies. Taking that. Definitely taking that. Oh, that's right. This is just a flat armor class increase without being armor, which is very nice. And the Misty Step Boots. Okie dokie. Are, why aren't your clothes showing up, homegirl? I mean, they are just pants, but still. Gets Yankee, gain a plus one bonus to intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. Oh. I wonder if she would have fared any better if she'd been wearing that when I sent her into that chair. Oh well, too late now. Um, how much does that little thing weigh? Twenty pounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can you can keep that too. You're gonna babysit. Um, uh, me alchemist fire. Nelly and Philip? No, I used some of hers, didn't I? I did. Nice. Boop! Crafts of water. Do they stack? They do not. Rude. Empty potion. Okay. Hearth light bomb. Do I have some of that already over here? Shockingly, no. Mm hmm. Regrettably, I have more wares that I did not realize. Oh shit, I was organizing, god damn it. Cinder and Sizzle. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional d4 fire damage. Mm. What? I just... Excuse me? Oh, what is happening? I appear to be unable to move these boots. I'm very confused by that. Okay. Um. Huh. like that. Alright, now my boyos are full up. That's not great. What's this? Rusty ass longsword. Send to camp. I'm over here like, oh, let me get some stuff out of Nellian's pockets. And I'm also like, mm, but she has items we can stack. I do not love that these boots are kind of uh, do, doing a little glitch action. It's not great. Let me pull out some basic gear for her. I could even give her her basics. What do you see, Scratch? What you barking at?
I wonder if there's any difference between regular Gathinki half plate and Lazel's armor. Actually, where is Lazel's? Um. Like there's there's Shadow Hearts, there's Asterians. Uh, there's Shadow Hearts circlet. Did she really just come with standard issue half plate? Huh. Interesting. I could put her in some <laughs> damaged armor. <laughs> Alright. Or toss her in a robe. Let her get comfy. Plate armor. 18 armor class. That, that's pretty impressive, honestly. I only have two of them, though. I'd rather not. Chuck her in some basic leather armor. Now she can have this. I will grant you your boots back. You may have clothing. I am a benevolent god. What's that? Oh, right. Where's. Oh, right. Her... Did she have gloves? Well, if she did, I'm not giving them back. That's fine. Where's in the wicker chest? Where's in the wicker chest? We have what do we have? A plate. No way. Plate and cup and mug and empty bottles and the empty potion bottle and the bucket. I think that's that. All right. And the last step. Adamantine chest gets this crossbow. Flip. Alright. And with that, now we get to let Lazel leave the party. Where are you, girly? Here you are. We might actually have some. Oh, let me let me put some clothes on her first. Here you go. Here you go. Thanks. Thanks. Here you go. You are permitted to be not naked. You know what's funny is I just pulled that out of my chest, and for some reason it's already covered in blood. Huh. Weird. How'd that happen? Take these as well. Tactical Walter. There you go. A little get Yankee retirement. You get an egg, you get your heirloom gear, and you get a chill camp. You must have questions. Yeah, let's see. Oh. You know what? Why are you so rude all the time? Let's ask that now, finally. Especially after all the shit we just went through, girl. If you must know, Vlakith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver and my body steel. I am what I must be. Say what I must be. 
to survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. That did not answer my question. Please chill in camp. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? Especially in your current state, yes. As you say, do not keep me waiting. I gave you some nice toys to keep you company, so enjoy. Who will I be taking with me? Um... We've got Shadowheart, we've got Will, we've got... Oh, Karlac. I would love to take Karlac with me. But I need to level her up even more, I think. I think she's still only at level 5. Which I think means I'm actually... Am I stuck picking Shadowheart for that reason? Hmm. Let me see where Will's hanging out. Are you up here, Will? You are. Okay. My first tour of a Githyanki crash. Memorable, to be certain. But the service left something to be desired. You didn't step foot in there, sir. What are you talking about? Anyway, join my party. That's what? the spirit. What level are you? You are currently level... What level? What level? Five. Shit. Okay. Sorry, get, uh, d d d d get Will. Well, you have to chill. I'm sorry. Are you sure? I am not ready the for blade level ups. Stands at the ready. And just when things were warming up. It's okay, buddy. Don't worry. I, I promise I will adventure with you. Hey, Halson. Do you have any thoughts? You wish to speak? Yeah, what do you think about the, the... No, okay. Wow, I can't even revisit the other things that I've said. Okay. That's new. Or not, I suppose. Pet dog. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Yes. Come here. Don't mind the blood on my gauntlets. It's fine. Good job, Scratch. One of these days I'll be able to look at your collar. Alright. Well, I guess we'll talk to everybody about the Gith Yankee crash situation. Walking freely out of a Gith Yankee crash. A miracle if ever I've seen one. And trust me, I've seen quite a few. Gith Yankee crashes or miracles? Also, we didn't exactly walk out freely. We, we did significant amounts of, of murder. The sooner we get out of this Gith Warren, the better. Okay. Does anybody have any goodies at their tents that I can rob? No, not right now. Oh, Volo. What do you have to say? Ah, oh, my good... Uh, Quite the cozy setup you okay, have okay, here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Well, what about your shop? What do you have? Anything that isn't my trash? Blindness, confusion, detect thoughts, banishment, blight. Ooh, blight. Vain debt. How much does he want for these? 220, 3 minutes. It's not even that bad, actually. Remove curse, I think. I might actually buy something from him. Crap, crap, crap. Guide to Spirits and Specters. Do I have that one? Hmm. I don't know. We've got very many of all of those. It's a vain death. Dimension door, dark vision, remove curse, banishment. Detect thoughts. How much is that one? 143? Mm. Colton Fuel. I really wish I could just <laughs> pickpocket him. 
<laughs> I wish it so, so badly. But he's always standing where all of my friends are looking, and my friends don't like the idea of me robbing Volo. Blindness. Punishment of Blight. Fainted. You know what? That's fine. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. I wanted to see if Gail had these yet. Ready to learn. Oh, we do have a blight scroll already. Rip. I was a little laced with them. What about Thane Death? See that in there. And banishment. We do have that in there too. Heck! Oh, okay, the boots came with us. Good, 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 good. Just gonna skip our scroll bag, which is of that one. And let's see if Gail can Excellent choice. learn that. Hey, I was looking there. Spell already known, aw oh, heck. Well, I did it to myself. And these ones he's gotta level up for. Okay. That's fine. lot of scrolls in his pockets, huh? Web. Already known. Can't learn. Ooh, wait, what's this one? Ivard's Black Tentacles. Yep, we got that. Alright. Crown of Madness. He already knows it. And he already knows it. Fine. Those two and these ones go in the baggie. You get a shovel. Oh, you're holding all the mm, staring can have these again. Blip. Already known. Agony. Dagger, regular dagger. A dagger plus one. Hmm. Two shovels. These can go to camp, it's fine. What else do we have here? Inky report. Small, right, that one's not a functional shovel. Tin fudge, I missed so many things. Frick and fudge and heck and shit. What is this one? Oh, right, that was a report for them moving into Rosie Morn. Great. Wonderful. Ooh, 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 that's gonna go really well with the. <laughs> okay. Okay. How are we doing now? Oh, you have a plain dagger too. Send it to camp. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is that a small shovel? It's a real shovel. Okay. You have too many torches.
You can't use that. I do like the idea of having a javelin on hand to throw. Trade the javelin for a dagger. Fine. I don't imagine there's a situation where I will choose the plain one over anything else that we've got. Oh, and have we got simple boots. Camp. Go in the box. Get in the box. Get in the box. I still think it's funny to have him carrying parchment because he's a wizard and he needs it to transcribe spells. Ho ho ho! Candle collar. Okay. That all can stay. Did I leave any other junk in your pockets, Astarian? I'm so sorry. Plain helmet. Once again, probably not going to put that on anybody. Same with the leather helmet at this point. But. Fray to Drow Hood. Deck saving throws plus one. Hmm. Close that for now. Candles. Water, water. Do none of these stack either? Oh, okay, those ones do. <laughs> do we do more of them? No, of course not. Of course not. Let me send these to camp real quick again, too, because I think I'd done that already on accident. Alright, acid vial. Ooh, a dagger. Plus one. Uh huh, uh huh. Short sword of first blood. So many things. All right, let me let me grab Shadowheart. I'm pretty sure she's the the one that. Oops, sorry, Gail, not you. Let's move. I think Shadowheart's my other oh, character uh, at definitely. level six, so I don't have to worry about wasting the level up. Already feeling better. I can't believe I'm actually venturing into a Gith stronghold again, voluntarily. This had better pay off. Again? I mean, we already went in there, hon. We, we were, we're fine. Whatever happens, we'll be able to manage. I've seen and we did. Before. I wasn't alone in my mission. All those who were sent with me were slain by Githyanki blades. Mm. They must want that artifact back badly if they're dispatching red dragons in pursuit of it. But we cannot afford to lose it. I wish I'd never been sent on this mission. It had better be worth it. Okay, don't say that part to me. It seems to be important to your mother superior. I'm curious about that myself. Your mission is irrelevant to me. That's not true. Let's just focus on getting rid of the tadpole. The rest can wait. Mm, they seem to be hand in hand, honestly. Let's see. I'm curious about that myself. It seems to be important to your mother superior. Yes. And she acts as Lady Shah's voice amongst mortals. She must be doing the Night Singer's bidding. I just don't know what it all means. All will be revealed in due time. I hope. Hmm. Anything Fine. new here? What's on your mind? How am I holding up? Does it even need to be asked? We're beyond me merely liking okay, you. Okay, that's the same. I think I'm a different person owing to you. Okay. Join me. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road. Especially if there's trouble. <laughs> Alright. You are level 6 though, right? Please tell me you're level 6. Yes, okay. Phew! Now, what did I leave you with? Absolutely nothing. Wonderful. Yeah, but... <laughs> three containers. She's She's got three containers. Alright. Um... 
Okay, but she cannot wear heavy. She's medium only, which is why she's got the chain shirt. Which is what, 16? 15, okay. Did want to give her... Was it the shield? I think it's the shield. She can't... Oh! Oh, the adamantine scale mail is medium armor? Why did I think that one was heavy? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Alright, well. There you go, goody. Ha ha ha! It's such a cool set of armor. I'm not sure if that's the right one for her, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Scared in shadow? Meh. This is heavy armor. This is something that only Nellian can wear at this point. What is this bad thing? Uh, it's only a pound. Okay. Blech. Alright, this is for you to hold on to as well. Thanks. Thanks, OBS. This is why I'm doing a local recording. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, that's for Gale for sure. Mistress Grays. Missile Snare. We need to get the, uh... Weapons out of the box for her. Ahead. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. Can't slow down. What's in here? I need these two things. Good job, OBS. Thanks for reconnecting. Oh, oh, oh right. The other thing, man. My kingdom for a remember window size option. Location would also be nice. Remember window location. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is that the small shovel that goes into where's? Boop. Dagger, dagger, dagger. Flip. These are knickknacks. They go in the teddy bear. Flip. Wonderful. Okay. Let's finish getting Shadowheart outfitted before I friggin' forget. Alright. Frosty. What was this one? If the wielder bears the absence brand, they gain a plus one. No, we don't have that. We just have the ability to cast heroism, which is what? Immune frightened and five temporary hit points each turn. But it's pretty nice. We'll, we'll keep that shield around. Okay. Glowing shield. Sure. Then where was the... There was something I had that did bonus with, um... Cold damage. Yeah, when the wearer deals cold damage, it's like two turns of encrusted with frost. So that'd be cool for her because of this staff. The staff does a d4 cold damage. What else can we give you? Whenever the wearer, wearer deals acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage with a spell or cantrip, they gain momentum for two turns. Alright. Those are equipped. Boots of Striding. Concentration gives you momentum. And you can't be knocked prone or moved against your will with a plus one to athletics. Those could be nice for her for now. Free Misty Step, also nice. Cannot fall prone. 
on icy terrain. That would be a pretty neat fit. Free feather fall. Uh, ac acidic surfaces with no effect, resistant to acid damage. And then concentration gives eight temporary hit points and athletics plus one. Hmm. think <laughs> oh these ones don't give any kind of bonus aside from being able to traverse icy terrain okay bummer <laughs> in the thick of things, so having temporary hit points is really nice, but so is being immune to being knocked prone. I think I like that better. These are just plain leather boots. Yeah, those can actually go to camp. Okay, then... Oh, that's the cloak slot. Alright. Scorching Ray for free. Succeed a saving throw. The foe that caused the throw takes d4 psychic damage. Even better for Githyanki. Mm -hmm. While obscured by shadow, the wearer gives a plus one to saving throws. And it just gives you a plus one con saving throw anyway. Intimidation plus one. Wait, we still have- send that to camp! I thought I got rid of all those. When you inflict a condition, gain arcane synergy for two rounds. Okay. So, with this whole thing and the potential for... Chilled and also... Encrusted with frost, that could go really well. What's arcane synergy? Weapon attacks deal additional damage equal to affected entities spellcasting ability modifier. Ooh, okay. So so her spellcasting modifier would get added to her her weapon damage. Ooh, okay. Oh, I like that. I like that idea a lot. Okay, okay. She can't do that one. Haste Helm is kind of nice, but eh. Proficient in wisdom saving throws. Ooh, wait, this was really nice too. Smite the graceless creatures who miss. And then they take the damage. Ooh, I really like that one as well. But I don't think Shadowheart's AC is going to get as high as I had Lazelle's. She's only, what? Oh, 19, actually. She's really close. Oh, I didn't give you a torch. Here you go. That's your torch now. Why isn't it showing in your inventory, though? Oh my god, it switched it to her weapon. Why would you do that? <laughs> Alright, anyway, anyway. Um. Okay, we got her stack to be bit of a frontliner to do not super amazing damage, but stacked damage. Oh, we have so many things. Githyanki has <laughs> advantage on intelligence saving throws. Ever. Oh man, I feel like there's so many things that you could have gotten to help with the, the Zethisk situation. Bummer. Brand the weak. What's that do? Expose the weak points, they become vulnerable to different types of physical. Three turns, or until... Alright. 
always prepared once per long rest, I'm assuming? Okay. Eh. Mountains equipped. Wait, who has that? Did I put that on? Oh, Asterion has it. Okay. Bow extra healing. That's always nice. Saloon is chosen. Lesser restoration. Resistance to slashing. Weakness to bludgeoning. Meh. Voice of the circle. That's what, but bonus to persuasion checks. Yeah. When one of your can trips. Okay, yeah, I definitely want that on Gale. Gale's got that in his pockets. When downed, automatically stabilize at the start of the turn. Maximize the number of hit points restored. Is that for any healing? Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes the best thing you can do for your friends is to stop bleeding and give them a chance to sort everything out. Alright, what else we got? Magic Missile. Ooh, do I have that in Gale's pockets? I really should. Yes, okay. Guidance. Succeed death saving throws. Speak with dead. A lightning blast. Uh -huh. That would be fun if I actually. Ooh, actually, actually, do I have Spell Thief on Nelly? Oh, I do, I should give that to Shadowheart. I don't think I've ever landed a critical with this to actually get a spell slot back. <laughs> Unfortunately. You know what? Actually, Nelly, we can keep it. That's fine. I gave her the Shar and Crossbow we found anyway. Let's see. What am I, what am I giving her? Detect Thoughts. Ooh, extra... Magic. <laughs> I think maybe she can have the detect thoughts one for now. And then for rings. Your weapon attacks also deal to acid damage. After shoving, get a plus one to armor class for a round. Explorer's ring. Free invisibility, free light. Thunder wave. When you deal damage with a cantrip, you gain arcane synergy for two turns, which gives weapon attacks. Extra oh, 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 oh! So there's a ring version of this diadem. Ah, okay, hold on then. Synergy for two rounds. Where'd that one just go? Two turns. Basically the same thing. Sharp silver corners of this ring almost cut into the stones at mid center. A gem of which you've never seen the like of before. Okay, so if I use that ring instead, then I can give her a different headpiece. That one would be best served on Asterion, probably. Flinging, nah. Jumping. Hm. Store an additional two hit points every time you heal another creature. She is a cleric. I think I will give her that ring. And what else do we have? Strange conduit. When concentrating, wears weapon attacks deal an additional d4. That ties in with these, but I'd actually have to be casting concentration spells to make use of that. Then 
healing can grant. I, I do kind of want to give her this one, but I want to see if this blessed status expires with the long rest. I kind of think it's going to, but we'll find out. Alright, let's give her the synergy ring and see what other headpiece there was that I could have given her. Shell speed. Da -da -da -da. Oh yeah, creatures who miss their attack rolls. Yes. But also, I want to keep your pretty hair out. Thank you. Yeah, it's not a party-wide. The Bless is not a party-wide buff. It's only for the people that were actually there to solve the puzzle. Okay. Alright, Shadowheart, I'm going to ask you to hold a few things here in a second. <laughs> going to give her... the non-weapons that I've got. There you go, honey. Carry these for me, please. Thanks. Oh my gosh, Nellian's under 140. Barely. For the first time in ages. Okay. But also... There was... Jumping... This one I wanted to put in Mysterium's pockets. Let's see. Stealth, sleight of hand, charisma, resistance to poison damage. It's nice, but I'm gonna give him that for now. Excuse me, did that switch? Place to be switching. Thank you. Alright, I'm also... Let's see... I'm gonna put a lot of other things in her inventory, because she can carry 180, which is a far cry better than the 120 of my noodle boys. 120 and 150. I still don't understand why Gale has better carrying weight than Asarian, because they have the exact same strength stat. Is it, is it like strength and con combined? Because he, he does have one more point of constitution, but... Huh. Anyway. Let's finish tidying. Accessories, gloves, boots, rings... Scooch him over. Keep those. Mm -hmm. What is that one? Advantage on concentration saves and against being charmed. Magic can't put you sleep. Replaces effects from other elixirs when drunk. I think is, he's a half elf, isn't he? Doesn't he already have? No, Fey Ancestry. Advantage. Oh, magic can't put you sleep. Okay. So yeah, that's not exactly helpful. Is Shadowheart also... They, oh, oh, he's a full elf. She's a half elf. I see. Um... I can give that to Gale then. Glorious vaulting. Yeah, you do have pretty pitiful jump distance. You can hold on to that. Basic poisons. You know what? Shadowheart, you can have some of those. Is that a coat your weapon? Yeah. Coat your weapon, coat your weapon. Oh, that's not a coat your weapon. That's a fix you up. Okay. Potion of speed. Plus two to armor class, advantage on dexterity saving throws, and double your movement speed. Nice. How much gloves do you have? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. When they dash, they gain momentum. 
do like those for him. Okay, okay, okay. No, you have camp supplies. Nar. Did I did I hack that up? Do you have any? No. All right. This is this is well enough. Let's all right. Uh, who didn't I talk to about this yet? At least things have stayed interesting. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. These boots have seen everything. I'm gonna be so sad to lose this blessed status and whatnot. Oh hey, yeah, Barkus, how you doing? Thank you for agreeing to find Wolbrin. It means a great deal to me. Indeed. We like saving people. Oh, can I not even? Thank you for Trade agreeing with to you? find Wolbrin. Aw, oh, man. It means a great deal to me. One of these days, Indeed. that little shop icon will mean something. Shop icon. I want to have a word. Looks like we're done here. Pity. This place has been a wild ride. Oh, I imagine it would have been fun to take you in there. Okay. Anything else? Hey, soldier. No, okay. Oh, there goes OBS again. Heck you, OBS. I have a local recording to sabotage or sabotaging. Talk to him one more time. Get well, all my flavor text. Nothing new? Okay. Well met, will met. <laughs> We're gonna talk to Gail once. How can I help? No more commentary? Okay. Starion, how are you doing? Need something? No, okay. Bye. Talk to, talk to. All right. We already chatted with Shadowheart. Got her set up with some gear, so she's ready to go. I suppose not many can boast that they've been to a Gith Yankee crash and survived. Ooh, she has a bonus one. Perhaps that's a good omen for our chances going forward, if you're feeling optimistic. Oh, that weapon is so pretty. Fine. What's on your mind? Does it even need to be okay, asked? Okay, it's the same. We're beyond me merely liking you. I think I'm... Thank you, Shadowheart. Sorry to interrupt you. I've simply heard it before. You understand. Alright, let's chat with Lazel again. You must have questions. A little bit. Do you have any more dialogue? Nope. Okay. That is that. Oh my gosh, this view, though. Look at this. Uh, I want to go to all the places. What is that? That single solitary little tree over there. I want to know. Ooh, a little waterfall. Also, I'm trying to take a screenshot real here, so, so, bear with me. We want the foreground rocks? No, not really. Ah, oh, here we go. That's nice. Wheel. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, did I not remember to take any of my water carafts back out? Accurate reminder. Let's grab those just for potential future tactical purposes. Yep. Waters. I do not need 42 of them, but I will take, I don't know, six, maybe five. I'm so used to just typing a number in, in Final Fantasy. Alright, um, yeah, just take those. Then, camp supplies. Bip. Trinket. Uh, those are normal gear, right? Yes. 
Flip. That's where. I don't know what to do with this. I feel like it's useful. Maybe, hmm. I'm gonna treat it like an explosive barrel. Flip. Oh, I could have just taken one of these. 5.5. They're half a pound each. What are you? Half a pound, five gold. Same. Alright. No matter. Very well. <sighs> okay. Did I talk to everyone? Yes. End the day. You don't have enough camp supplies. That's a lie. Taking a long rest now will only restore your hit points and spell slots up to half their maximum, and you won't regain any short rests. Those are all lies. I have oodles of camp supplies. Oh, we still have the Bless Effect and, and the Lothanthor. Okay. Well, some of us do. What do we have? Helson, do you have anything to say now? You wish to speak? Nope. Apparently not. Well met. Okay. What's on your mind? What can I do for you? Nothing. Ooh! New thing for Carlac. New thing for Carlac. I'll be right with you, darling. Let me just do the rounds. Make sure nobody else has anything exciting to say. Oh, let's try to put her in that Lady peak outfit. Sorrow's guide us. Did you want something? Um... Mm. I've, I've done that like three times already. I'm gonna leave it alone. She does look cute in that. Lazel, how you doing? You must have questions. Nope. All right, up to best girl. What we got, what we got? Hey, soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. <sighs> My engine... It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest. <sighs> what can we do? We need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. If it can be fixed. But he's in Baldur's Gate. We will find it. We're gonna go there. We've got so many, so many threads leading there. She literally just said it feels like it's gonna burst out of her chest. She's she's probably gonna explode. We're gonna reassure. We're gonna find him. I'm sure we will. But in case we don't, a bit of advice. You leave your left flank wide open. If I'm ever not around to cover it, you may find yourself on the wrong side of a goblin spear one of these days. Huh? <laughs> Copper for your thoughts. Got more? You got more? Aw. Mm, was there no journal update for that? Mm. Meet Dabin on the road ahead. Yeah, I plan to. Okay. Look, you don't have enough camp supplies. Heck you! Do so. Alright, tonight we're going to... No, 
not have <laughs> get Yankee food. Well, hmm, maybe we will. We'll eat some of our pilfered get Yankee food in celebration. Maybe it's a little little comfort food for <laughs> for Lazel. We are simply eating everything we stole from the people we murdered. Well, not everything, but qu quite a bit. 40 out of 40. Bam. <gasps> Little friend! Food hungry. I have food. Would you like it? Look at all that approval! Oh, Carlac's picture's broken. Want, want bite. bite. <laughs> Ooh, go ahead, eat. Or come on, then take it. I feel like it might nip me if I do that. We'll, we'll channel our intuition here. This thing's not trained at all. We'll put it down. What a delectable little pet. You better not chase no. him away. Run! Asterion! Oh, now look. You've scared off the little snack. Not a snack, a pet. Literal pet. I gave him food. If that means he's not gonna come back, I'm gonna be very upset. Do we have a friend? I don't see our friend. <laughs> All right, let's get our ritual cast of Speak with Animals up to start our day with a little chat with Scratch, as one does. Beautiful. Hey, Scratch. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Pet. start good start anybody have early morning treats for me you wish to speak nope apparently not well met hi okay what is this oh high spirits from the amulet well, I did lose all of the, the bless and light blessing situation. Bummer. Go ahead. I'm listening. Ugh, nobody has anything fun to say. We. Yes? How, how are you feeling? Oh, you know what? Actually, um... We will... Wait, can we even do this camp? Over there. Technically, yes, but we gotta be clever about it. Nice. What now? I need you to get happy. Dread nightly. And in order to do that, we've got to do some silly, <laughs> sneaky shit. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. What to do? Um, we use our lesser restoration amulet on ourselves. We have a happy vampire, and we have no debuff. That's not what I meant. There we go. Flip. Who did I just <laughs> offload all this to? Shadowheart. Please continue holding. Please hold. Alright, so he's set. Good time for a chat. Okay. 
Hey, soldier. Hi. Okay. Light on my feet. Everybody's so chipper. Because we just got a nice long rest. Lazelle, how do you feel? And any better today? You must have questions. Nope. Alrighty then. I suppose. We get to. Oh, help. Wait, excuse me? There's more to the camp. Hold the phone. Is it just this area that was potentially added for the magic mirror? Are there any free alchemy supplies over here, perhaps? No, there are not. That is a very big area. Hmm. And I suppose I did mention wanting to go check that one place. Where was that? Risen a road? Yes. Let's see if it lets me. Excuse me. I already took my long rest. What is this shit? Pardon? Hmm. I don't see any quest markers. Upsetty. You must have questions. Yeah, why are we taking another long rest? I didn't, I didn't click that. Hmm. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Did you invoke this separate long rest? Hey, scratch. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Okay, bush puppy. You're a very good doggo. Okay. What's on your mind? Why are we still in camp? Need something? Answers. What's on your mind? Mm -hmm. Agony. Do, do I just have to go back to bed? Leave camp? What do you mean, le huh? Oh, that's Voss. Supreme Kithrak, has Vlakith sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. I like that Lazel here is in her normal gear and everybody else is in their, their nighttime gear. Hmm. Ooh, not to Lazel, she should take the lead. Mmm. 
Uh, sorry, girly. We followed what you said for the whole crush situation. That didn't exactly work out. Case in point, your cumulative negative six stats. Be at ease. I bring only truth. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. No, she doesn't. I do. Within it lies the seed of Vlacketh's demise. And I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlacketh's demise? Shkaketh! I should run you through for suggesting it. Ooh. Are you talking about the person inside? Do you know who that is? What are you asking out of us, boss? You must be either a fool or a hero to work against your own queen. I'm not giving you the astral prism if that's what you're wanting. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh, these are... The top three are very good. Are you talking about the person inside? Do you know who that is? If they have not said, they must have good reason. And I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally. Protects you with their power. So why would he... Oh, wait. That very power will be the end of Vlacketh's tyranny. The prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel, together we will break our chains and be Vlacketh slaves no longer. I am no slave, she's still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify. It extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness. He flood me with this... this heresy. I... I will hear no more of it. This is the yeah, he's this is the exact same thing that I already told you, girl. What is what are the odds that two people who did not communicate at all whatsoever would have the exact same thing to say to you? What do you want to do, Lazel? I have your back. Not true. Black Kiss led you astray. I believe him, and so should you. He speaks true of the Zathisk. You need to trust him. That's true. That's objectively true. Ooh, but I really... Mm. Gail approves, approves, approves. Ooh! I served Flacketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles. Yet she names me a Sherlock. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together, we will be our people's light. Okay, man, I'm suddenly Take so this. glad we didn't get that combat. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. Ooh. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. I like this dude. I should go. Vlacketh's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazel. Okay. 
Okay, I am really confused though because presumably our our dream visitor guardian. Ooh. Ally with Vosik. Ooh. Got an achievement. Um, but presumably our dream visitor, our guardian, is the entity inside the astral prism. And the Guardian gave us a warning not to trust Voss? Hmm. I wonder if that's just because, like, the Guardian didn't know that Voss was anti-Vlakith. And just detected, you know, Githyanki. Or, or what that's about. Huh. Where's my car? Where's Carlac? Excuse me? Where's Halson? Where's Will? Excuse me? Oh, okay. Lazelle has a quest. But still, where's the rest of my people? Where'd they go? Thoughts? I didn't expect Glazel to turn on the Lich Queen so readily. Wonders never cease. Oh, I can't wait until you have your comeuppance, girly. So readily. Like she didn't just go through hell. Fine. What's on your mind? Nothing different here? Okay. Does it even need to be asked? Okay. We're beyond me. Sorry. I'm not gonna make you repeat yourself again. I see that. Trust and believe I see that. Let me see. What is this? Psionic? Ooh. Quanith psionic detector. Barely perceptible magic flows from this unusual device. It is searching, seeking, listening. Ooh. Hmm. It weighs nothing, so it does encourage you to keep it with you. It's only worth one gold, so it discourages you from selling it. That description is weirdly ominous. Like, we were told it's supposed to help us identify when people come near hunting us. But it, it could also be spying on us with that description. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that, but I am inclined in character for Nellian to trust for right now. So it goes in the quest bag. Can I put this in a bag? No. It says I am in your pocket and I will not be further pocketed. Understood. Okay. Well, if, if Shadowheart had nothing new to say, then I imagine nobody else does. Especially considering. <laughs> Alright. What you got for me? Let's do a quick save, actually. I haven't saved this entire time. <laughs> Inventory management go burr. Okay. Vlakith costs seven crath crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But and they, they were lies. Aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the ten thousand protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith. And be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Correct. Ooh, okay. What does ascension entail exactly? Voss called Vlakith a tyrant. Does this mean you agree? Who was the one in the prison, do you think? And if Voss is wrong? If his claims are wrong and Blackith's are real? Nah, fuck that. We don't like Blackith. Obviously, it's about time you figured it out. <laughs> Ooh. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> Obviously, girly. But uh, we have a, a history of not kicking somebody when they're fresh off the trauma train, so... Let's let's just uh, poke for some more information. What what exactly is Ascension about anyway? 
Ascension is a young Githyanki's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose. To train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. Okay, so we do know that some Githyanki do get partnered up with dragons. We did see that. But we also went into a pocket of the astral plane. And, and I don't know about you, I didn't see any, like, ascended dragon rituals happening in the background of Tunarasa's six-armed forgotten god carcass. Um, let's see. Uh, who's the one in the astral prism, do you think? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Vos believes they are the seed of Vlaketh's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. Ooh, okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a little iffy on this one, but, uh, how are you feeling about Vlacketh now? Tyrant? Yes? No? I never thought Vlacketh a tyrant, or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right... And Vlacketh consumes the Ascended to gain power. Then, I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlacketh to true godhood. Hmm, okay. We don't believe that Blackett's claims are real, so we're just going to move on. Let's move yes. on. Yes. I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charesse's caress in Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Blackett's eyes are upon us. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. We must press forward. Let's deal with Kethrick. Then find Voss in Boulder's Gate. Catherick. Did we actually get confirmation that we're... Oh, we did. Actually, in, in Grimforge. It's just been so long. I've been in this crash arc for a billion years. So, Blazel's going to war with Vlakith? Going to break her chains in Baldur's Gate. Good for her. Oh, he's happy about it. That's so nice. Finally, a slave-adjacent relationship that you're consistently happy to celebrate the destruction of. As opposed to the gnomes, I remind you, where you did not approve of me freeing them. Rude. What will Voss have to show for himself when we catch up with him, I wonder? Hopefully good things. His intelligence may yet prove the key to unlocking the artifact's secrets. We should ensure we follow up when we reach Baldur's Gate. Agree. Okay. Okay, what do I do now? I go nothing. Leave camp? Am I, am I allowed to simply do that? <laughs> Just double sleeping, I suppose. I didn't have to use any supplies. Or is... Huh. That was really weird. The timeline of that is, is bizarre. 
Okay, let's talk to everybody one more time. Let's be thorough. You wish to speak? Do you know anything about liches? No? Okay, cool. Hey, Withers. Liches? Lich Queen? Blacketh? Fate spins along as it should. Mm -hmm. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? No. Okay, I can't talk to you about- okay, fine. Fine. Hey, Will, how we doing? There's a schism growing among the Githyanki people. Ooh. And Lazelle just took one step towards choosing a side. I think that was more like a very tremendous leap. Not necessarily voluntarily taken. Well met. Okay, you don't have anything else to say. That's fine. Okay. More flavor. More flavor. How can I help? Oh, okay. So my active party members that were in the scene, I got their goodies last night. Need something? D do I need to have you... God, d it does count as a new day. <laughs> I have to have them... Yeah, upsetting. Don't touch me. Come on over Watch here. I could keep that on. What are my other options right now? Oh god, we have so much jewelry. <laughs> you know, we'll rock the guidance pendant for now. That's fine. We'll keep that one with us and back to Shadowheart. So, a Starian set. We're not bloodless. We're not in high spirits. Last cup of iron. Is that iron bowl? Okay. Regular ball. Okay, okay. Need something. Yes. Oh, just yes? Okay. Where is oh I need to do this. Again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Scratch! Where's the boy? Very well. Hope you're keeping well, friend. You ran away from me. What's that about? Brood. Harlack, how we feeling? So we're going to meet Voss in the city, are we? Eventually. Set the tenant of the prison free? This is all very, uh... I don't know. I like a good caper, but I'd long for a tiny bit of status quo now and again. <laughs> I appreciate that. She just wants the quiet life. Hey, soldier. I understand. I did already chat with Shadowheart, but let's be thorough. May the darkness protect you. Cool, thanks. You're very light and icy at the moment. And Lazel, how we doing? You must have questions. Maybe? Nope, I don't. JK. Alright. That is everybody in camp who isn't... No secrets over here. Not during the day? No. Okay. Although, we could check with Barkus one more time. 
dance, dance. Thank you for agreeing to find. Okay, still no, still no vending for me. I understand. Sure, sure. Well, you don't oh, happen to have God. anything Quite new. Because they set up do you? Here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. No, oh, I believe these are the same. Okay. Now, hold on a minute, Volo. I definitely made a thousand gold purchase to you yesterday. What did you do with that? Where did that money go? You didn't leave my camp. What did you do with it? Oh. Huh. I wonder if I bought this back. If I'd be able to light it on fire and give myself a brand for some of those uh, bonus things. Huh. Interesting. Not something I'm going to do at the moment, but a thought. <laughs> Alright. If I leave camp, where is it going to put me? Because I tried to go to the Risen Road. And then I had to have my, my compulsory second rest with Voss. <laughs> Even if you can't be seen, some criminal acts can be overheard. Hide to reduce noise. And even then, some shit's just fucking noisy. Where are you putting me? Bundy, where are we going? I requested Risen Road. Where are we? We're at the Risen Road! Cool. Okay, fantastic. Alright. Yes, this is where I wanted to do double check a thing. Yay! Wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh, not that way. Yeesh way. Did I never look at these? Well, now I have. I wonder if I could pick these guys up with the, uh, giant stick put him in a box perhaps where's my stick big stick can I pick these up nope still too heavy all right well I tried Severed. Oh, I could pick that up. That's truly unfortunate. Anyway, up in here, there is a hatch, and I don't know if I ever went down it. DM. Oh, Anders. <laughs> This is where oh, Nellie got the wall. This assault on the nostrils should be labeled a war crime. Oh. Uh -huh. Better not be cursed. Unlocked. Toll collector's key. Okay. Nice. Um. We got a ledger and some gold. Okay. Let's read the ledger. A ledger containing details of the toll house's takings for the current year, 1492 DR. Most entries are neatly written, listing the travelers and the amount of gold paid, but the text on the most recent page is smudged and rambling. Ninth, Marpanoth. Four merchants with single wagon of sundries, 25 gold. Twelfth, Marpanoth. Flaming Fist Company, 15 fists and gauntlet. 100 gold fee waived, 
Fists don't pay tolls, they extort. 21 Markinoff, brewer and two guards bringing kegs to Joaquin's rest, 35 gold. Second Uktar, seven farmers, no goods, no gold, wounded, warned us to leave. Third Uktar, sent courier to request extra guards or relief. Seventh Uktar, more farmers, too many to count, no goods, carrying their own dead. Eleventh Uktar, road untenable. Sixteenth Uktar, preparing to abandon post. Oh. Okay. I can go to camp now. It's not marked like a quest item. Let's do a little... Back. Speak with dead. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Alright. Why were you in the basement? I did read your log. It sounded pretty dire, but why'd you come down here? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. How did you die? Goblins. Nothing. Cut in. Oh. Who are you? Toll collector. Martin. Okay. Were you alone? Gods abandoned me and Vance. I think Vance is the guy we found outside where we got the key for that door. Or he didn't have the key, but I talked to his corpse and he mentioned having the key and dropping it, and then we found the key. Oh no, there's so many barrels here. Okay, okay. Um <laughs> Who's got the best perception right now? Perception. Oh, that's under what skills? Perception, perception. Plus two, plus seven. Wow. Zero, plus four. Okay, Starian. Can't give up now. Let's hit that boy with some guidance. My and turquoise. We got plays we got Shadowheart identifying one trap, which is very nice. Should be able to disarm that very easily. Oh, absolutely easily. Thirty two, I think so. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Many traps. Okay. We will oh, cunning action dash just to be able to move around some more. I'm just trying to make the most of the uh, guidance. Traps. How considerate. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think something else I could do, though, rather than disarming all of them, is their vent traps, so I could just block them. But why do that when I can permanently disarm them and never have to worry about them again? Hmm. Okay. You tried. You tried. Alright, I still have seven turns of guidance. Next up. Bonk. 36! Incredible. Did I... which one's next? Rule. Net 20? You're joking. Oh, I don't even get to see the bonuses on that because it's just an automatic success. Okay. Can I? Mm hmm. Failed. Ooh. 
Interesting. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Okay. Lovely. Let me bring what am I to do? Shadow Heart in I next. Go. See if you can see whatever Asterion missed. Best avoid that trap. Lovely. Also, I have a lot on my mind. You can come on well, in, pop in guidance on Asterion one more time. Bop. Bam! 33! Lovely. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out. This is a lot of frickin' traps for the bottom of a toll house. Ooh. It will be trying. Turn that light on. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Ooh, you did not nat one me. I'm not using inspiration. Bite me. That's what I thought. What? Simple talk. <laughs> really? <laughs> It just gooped out some simple toxin? Okay. How how terribly threatening. Oh, there are so many things to investigate here. Oh, boy. What a curious black wall. Can't get there. Are you really quite sure? Hmm. Alright, anyway, it is time. Ooh. Sure, have a seat. Seems I've done something, but not enough. Oh. Okay. Let's get on with it. For sure. This way. I can't believe it literally just gooped simple toxin onto the floor. <laughs> is that flammable? No. Is it freezable? Also no. Well, that's annoying. Ah ha ha! R really? Hmm. Okay, well, filtering time. time. To rest. Let's start. Over well, here. Let me work my magic. Gail, you can you could have this chair. Certainly. I'm gonna turn it so that you're not stuck facing the wall though. Ready? We've learned the rotation magics. Have a seat. Still alive. So that's progress. It is time to pilfer. Oh, I could have immediately done that with some of those, huh? Blip, blip. Blip. Alright, that's that whole little alcove. Let's swing around the back. Sausages! We're gonna have a very meaty night the next time we long rest. Which will be, by my records, in approximately 60 hours. <laughs> Okay. 
No trucks, please. Kind of mad at Asteria and chasing away the owl bear cub, though. I really hope it can come back. start over here get some light because even though we have dark vision I the player would rather see what I'm clicking on oh my gosh so much stuff how blank canvas oh okay that's fun Crafting thing. Well, I call them crafting things. I don't know if we actually can. Broken padded armor. What's that about? Armor. It's still armor class 11. A standard gambeson of quilted cloth. Good for catching blows, but almost unbearably sweaty. <laughs> That's so funny. It's still functional, though. You could, you could, and it's not even like a lower armor class for being broken. That's very funny to me. Uh, potion of mind reading can go in the potion pouch. Blip. Basic poison. Um, I suppose we can hold on to that. These ones go to camp. What else is up here? Free water, box I already opened. Mm -hmm. A rotten tomato. Rags. Ooh. Free jewelry, because our collection's not big enough. We will definitely take some free gold. We did actually give Bolo a thousand and then he disappeared it. So much destitute clothing. Oh, that one's road dust gray. Okay. Gobbo. There's just so many little items over here. Rotten. That can stay, I suppose. Ooh. Aha! Aha! Lots of mind reading potions and shit down here. What the hell? What did that one have? Rotten mushroom. Okay. Money! Yeah. Rotten food. Nothing. Free bottle. Free shoes. What was this one? Right, the rotten food. More rotten food? Nice. More rotten food? Amazing. Bleh. Bleh. Why do they have so much clothes down here, too? What's going on? Was this a sleepover? Oh, a burrow hole. Interesting. I'm way too big. I know, but I wonder where that goes out. Maybe outside, maybe behind this place near the, the arcade sigil. I could have Asterion's mage hand find out, but 
Oh, uh, he only gets to do that once per day, doesn't he? Yeah, once per short rest. I'd rather not. Is that blood? No, never mind. It better not be. We just got out of a long rest. We are pristine and pretty. Bubble. Bubble. You, I assure you, you can reach this. Girly. Oh my god. You can get into the chest, but you can't reach those bottles. Okay. You know what? Can you reach the bottles now? No? Amazing. Can you jump on here? Not enough space? I think you drastically overestimate how much. What do you mean can't reach? It's, it's right there! Okay, put that shit back on the shelf. Girl. Girl, it is in the crate. We can move the crate. How can you not reach the bottle? Thank you. Absolutely wild and hmm. It makes me angry that I can't can't reach those. Oh, that's so funny moving um Let's not clip you out of the floor, please. I was attempting to move only the... Um... Okay. Okay. Looks empty. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do this. Fantastic. The bottle... Okay. Very silly. Absolutely bonkers silly. All right. Oh, another bottle. What do you mean you can't reach it? Girl, it is on the floor in front of you. You can fit under this shelf. Don't do this to me. That's so, so, so dumb. It's so dumb. All right, now for the middle boxes. Open up. Absurd the path that she took. Incredible. Alright, here's some. <laughs> that was a lot of empty boxes. Ooh, light hammer. Yoink. Ooh, what was that one? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, bleh. Ooh. Nice. What is this? Broken something or other. Oh. Oh, a broken club. Hello? That was weird. Hmm. The tip of this club is snapped off. It's wood rotten to the core. Okay. Sounds like something I don't necessarily need to keep with me then. Potions away. A light hammer. Oh, the crate you can get out of my face. There you go, crate. Bop. Oh, that didn't work. I will simply put the crate in the box. Lovely. We have... Oh, another potion. And then... Stuff for camp. We are back up over 140. How quickly that happened! Alright. Did I finish this room? I believe I may have done just that. Is there a torch over here that I could light? This corner is awfully dark. Those candles. Um, 
Oh, that's melted wax. Like, there used to be a candle there. Can these move? Or are these just... Nope, those are environmental. Those cannot be adjusted. Do I have a candle with me? <laughs> Not with Nellian. Aha! I would like to set this candle right there. And light it. I'll give it a shot. Aha! That sheds almost no light, but I helped. Certainly it won't cause the place to burn down or anything. Can I still not reach these ridiculous? Breathe deep and move. Okay. Now we have a whole nother room to pilfer. I suppose we will start here. Move the crate. Okay. Um. Can I not put that back on the shelf? Why does it want to launch it so far up? That's bizarre. Anyway, um... There. That looks like a rotten cheese, and it is. Rags. Okay. Oh? Where's that? Uh huh. Okay. It was doing weird camera things. Understood. Anything else over here? Not enough space. I mean, I can't sit on a Asterion's lap. Be sure. I'm a dwarf. I'm small. Why did you run over there? I suppose. Okay. And what about this one? Empty. I can't believe I missed this <laughs> ages ago. Alright, what else we got? Um, we'll do the same thing. Circle the outside and then touch the middle. Leadership of the Zentarim. Oh. An excerpt from the ongoing Metatext Rebound by Iosefa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denaire for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the Metatext, her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Um. Uh, we've read something else from her. I don't think this one, though. Despite their protestation to the contrary, it takes no keen eye to see echoes of Bainite philosophy in modern Zentarim practice. 
a strict militaristic hierarchy where all power flows from the top. Who occupies that position today is a matter of some speculation, for the Black Network's leadership was thought destroyed along with their headquarters at Zendul Keep in 1383-DR. In the following decades, however, a new base of power began to consolidate at the fortress of Darkhold, far to the south. At its center stands the Paragost, an enigmatic armored figure to whom the Zentarim's rebirth is almost single-handedly attributed. Whoever their leader, it is clear that this new Zentarim have not abandoned plans for domination so much as recalculated their approach. Where once their focus was on the subversion and conquest of nations, the network of today is much more concerned with establishing their stranglehold on the market, a power which crosses borders that are closed to more conventional forces. Interesting. Right, we got bottles and bottles and bottles and shields and things and to camp. Also, where'd my camp supply sack? What did I pick up? Ah, oh, yes, all of the alcohol. To camp. Books empty. Mug of beer. Carafe of water. Already looked in there. What's in this pouch? Absolutely nothing. Send to camp. Did I already have water? I do. I already grabbed this water. I think I'll keep that one, though. Well, I don't have anything else that's a blue bottle, do I? That's fine. Alright, next up. Ooh! Gulfmarin Reserve. I think I already have some of that. Another pitcher of beer. Another stack of books with nothing in it for me. Rude. Battle axe. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm really bummed that Simple Toxin can't be frozen or burned. So annoying. Is there anything in that crate? Step carefully. There's a trap. Oh. Just just one? Oh, we're just okay. Is this a fake table? We are experiencing a there we go. Our vivisection has ended. We already went over here at middle time. Sure, pick up the bucket. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in there. More water. Oh no, don't- Oh, Okay, good. I thought I was gonna pick it up. I was like, no please, don't do that. Okay, um... Is there, can I pick up this candle? Aha! Uh -huh. I do not, <laughs> do not love that this is pitch blackness here. Can, can I not? Oh. Oh! Did I break the candle? I think I did. <laughs> um, Asterion. Well, hello. Could you come deal with this? Go. A trap. Oh! Someone doesn't like visitors. Okay, okay. Give me just a second. I have a thought. Still breathing, despite everything. 
Right, right. I, what? Whatever. Good. Awesome. Okay. Shadowheart, I will free you from the chair. In, in a second. I have to keep going. Or, you know what? You could. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. You could do this for me. <laughs> Lovely. All right, Astarian. No one stopped me yet. Get guided. Let's turn the tables. My and handle this, please. Oh, just another ten. Okay, I thought it might have been higher. Nope. Lovely. Okay. More of these. Beautiful. And I see that yeah. next one. Let's go. Traps. How considerate. Yes, indeed we do. Mm, nice. Okay. Alright, alright. Oh, we got all kinds of fun stuff in here. Oh, boy. Alright. This is the last room, though, right? <laughs> what a fun little basement. Alright, Asterion, thank you so much. Come, come hang out. Hang out with your friends. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. And I, <laughs> I threw the candle in here, <laughs> hoping to light the space up, and it just fucking destroyed it. <sighs> I picked up a bucket. Delilah, de ooh, a candle. Light it. Cute. This one broken very well. Nice. Okay, I suppose I will leave that particular chest. I do have a surplus of containers at camp. Potion. I can't have that busted bust. Jenny's. A new book. A pleasurable deal. That and that and that and that. Go to camp. Read. This is an excerpt from the play A Pleasurable Deal, banned in no fewer than four cities for its lewd content. Its scandalous nature led to a number of widely distributed and illicit printings. Did I? I think I read this already. Come here, fair folk, a tale now lost to time. In grief this man well sunk to depths of lime. A gift he sought to win his lady's heart. Our cambion smiled, for now the game did start. Enter Robert, male tiefling, crying. Carlyle, stage right. Flash of smoke. Carlyle, weep not, young man, though free your wife has fled, and comfort found in comrade's arms and bed. She licks her lips and cries, His name, oh my, and now seek you to be the apple of her eye. Robert. How does a stranger know such things, I ask? Carlyle. I watch you from the shadows, and I see your shame and grief for nature's malady. You seek to win your lady and her bed, to have your name upon her lips instead. Robert. You know my curse, my pain, my grief, my woe? Carlyle. 
Of course I know you seek a larger hoe to plough, fair maid, and sow a seed to grow, but lack to ye a mighty horn and mast with which to guide a maid to bed and fast. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already read that, but, you know. Quality. Um, that was just a rotten carrot. Yeah, okay. We are continuing. We are continuing. Free helmet. Free great sword. Free shield. Another little candle. Free gloves. Ooh, gloves of heroism. When you use your channel oath spells, you gain heroism. Oh. Okay, interesting. Suede covers the palms of these gloves, ensuring a soft, comforting touch for anyone in need of help. That's cool! I, I think that I like my current gloves better, though. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Underdog's Bravery. Alright, let's send some of this stuff to camp, because it's all basic stuff, basic stuff. Mm, they only weigh half a pound, we can keep those. For now. For now. Turn the light on. Free gold! 27 gold. 33 gold. Wait, can I move these? Hey, <laughs> bring one down. Potion! Potion! A plate! An empty box! Alright, anything on this rack? A great sword. Sneaky shield over here. More gold. Only two? That pile looked huge! How is <laughs> that only two gold? <laughs> Empty. Okay, and. Maybe I need more pockets. No, 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 it's fine. Encumbered. We'll be sending some of this to the camp. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Great X plus one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've already had that. Boop. Now you're not encumbered, darling. Wait. Alchemy pouch. <laughs> and then the arrows. And then potions. And then scrolls. Alchemist fire, quest items, water potions. Okay. This thing. No, that only weighs one. Ah. I'll probably have her wear that if I know we're actually going into combat. Being immune to critical hits is like mm, special. Okay, that was everything here. That's lovely. How much further can I go? Come on over here, friends. I know you're not already talking about going further. We haven't taken a lick of damage. We haven't spent a single spell slot. We are going back to Trielta Crags. Or hmm. I kind of... We'll go here for... Yes, I know. Am I going to get another surprise compulsory camp stay? Hmm. still this spot next to the bridge that drives me nuts that I can't seem to access here, even though it's outlined like it's walkable. 
agony. Knees are even. I confirmed this is the path that comes near the goblin camp. Um. Oh, and I straight up have not gone further down this way. Okay. Well, that is where we're going then. On my way. Oh. Oh. Right. Those are the ones I can't get because they fell in the hole. <laughs> Scruffy vagabond clothes. Can I move it? No. Nope, nope, nope. I want to examine this one. Oh, we definitely have, like, 16 trillion of those. Absolutely don't need to pick those up. We've already pilfered all of these. Just rotten food, I think, if anything. Alright, and then up here is where we fought those undead. Empty, 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 empty. I think we already... Did we speak with dead? We did. Careful, I bind. Just uh, for funsies. Subtle steps. Yeah, we already talked to the ones we could talk to. Going west, then south. What if we snuck, though? Not a sound. Well, bird nest. What's here? Eggy? Rotten eggy. Did I go up this way? I must have, because the map's filled in, but... <laughs> Just reviewing. Ah, right. That's where it gets yucky. We go from quaint, beautiful woods into oh oh right oh 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 these are the cursed lands right presumably how far can I walk over here what does it say walk in the way of dawn for Lathanda cannot protect you where the light doth not reach right I still have the Everburn blade with me, right? Yeah, I do. Alright, cool. Although... Wait, 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 wait. Why would I do that when I could... Do that. Sheds a holy light in a six meter, meter radius. In combat, fiends and undead standing in the light are blinded unless they succeed a constitution saving throw. Oh, it lets me cast sunbeam. I forgot about that. Hell yeah. All right. Yeah, let's, let's carry this around. That seems wise. Also, before we get in here, I'm going to do a little bathroom break. So we'll take a few minutes here.
Alright, we are back, we are ready to go. Ready to progress away from the dulcet creaking <laughs> of this bridge, I suppose. Um, we do also, let's see, I have this, this out, which I imagine will do a good job here. But also... Did I ever... Broken Moon Lantern. A thick layer of dust coats the bottom of the lantern. Its glass is cracked, its metal bent beyond repair. What can I do with it? Use? Object catches your eye. A ah. lantern, it seems. The moonlight flickers within. Broken. And there's dust inside it. Ooh. They are the same role, effectively. Inspect the lantern in more detail, or examine the dust within the lantern. Hmm. We do those shadow curses, so let's go Arcana. And yes, we will definitely, you know what, guide yourself. Spicy, it's so spicy. This is pixie dust, used to illuminate a lamp, or left behind after a pixie's death. Huh. Oh, I can do both. Oh, that's cute. Alright. Once again, taunting me. Single digit rolls. No, thank you. You see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. Okay. Fascinating. Great. Awesome. Cool. <laughs> what am I meant to do with that? <laughs> Whatever. We've got a, a holy mace, so heck it. Being in open view. All right. My way. Oh. Weary traveler with mage armor. A construct. A hey, level one construct with ninety six points. Hmm. Alert. Cannot be surprised. Empowered evocation. Grass with evocation magic has tightened. And you can add your intelligence modifier. 27! What the fuck? Uh, did you add that to damage rolls? Oh my god. Magic resistance. Advantage against spells and effects. Opportunity, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spells, oh my god, 27! Plus 8? Plus 8? And 24 constitution, what the fuck? Okay, beefy boy. But no vision cone? Well, it wouldn't be the first time the vision cone stopped rendering, honestly, but... Oh. Why is there a dead rabbit? Huh. And blue jay. Is this the same blue- that'd be so funny if that's the same blue jay. Another rabbit. Maybe that's just like... A reminder, these lands be cursed. Um. Does he just let us walk up to him? He's, he's not saying shit. Oh. He is literally looking away. Okay. Really? No. Just, just for fun. You understand. Can't do it. Pickpocket failed. <laughs> he 
he is a construct, it said, so, uh, I guess his robes are fake and don't actually have pockets. Okay. Um, oh, hold on. Count as adventuring? We do be adventuring. <laughs> Who there, Andra? Oh. <laughs> Stay thy course a moment to indulge an old man. I'm not Alvinster? sure that's what you are. The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. Hmm. I think some proper introductions are in order. Or many miles, you say. Where do you hail from? Hit that country roll, though. Man, I'm not interested in the junk you sell or the junk you tell. <laughs> um... I think some proper introductions are in order. Meet Elminster Ormar, a good friend of mine, but rather more significantly, he's the most famed and respected wizard in the realms. Am I indeed? Most famed and respected errand boy, more like. I was <laughs> bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me, Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? Out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Bordity washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare, worthy of the name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. That sounds like my a you problem for not packing. Bread, cheese and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it. Go to my camp. Have yourself a feast. And a great kindness that would be. See, Gale? Even in these barren parts, the art of hospitality begets inspired new works. If only one keeps up the practice. Oh, for the love of... This way, then? Hmm. To your camp. Oh, go dawdle now, lad. You're the one who's in such a frightful hurry. Oh, nigh on 13 centuries old, and he still thinks with his stomach. <laughs> We'd best follow and see if he's more disposed to speak plainly once it's stopped its grumbling. Okay. Um. I suppose I'm curious. To you. Yeah, let's go. Wise choice. Better to indulge your curiosity than Elminster's appetite. Oh, we just straight up go. Okay. That does mm, make some yes. sense. What a delightful wedge of old as Turin that was. Doesn't do to parlay on an empty stomach, you know. Makes one's words frivolous when they should be grave. Plenty to digest, after all. A good deal to stew over, if you will. Oh, he's full of Words puns. Ladled with oh my god. <laughs> should be savored so as to better absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> you see, I, um, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy. I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can, forswearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. You just gave me like six puns in a row. I'm You're good. On behalf of Mistra, the message and the charge I bring you are hers. You were sent here as an actual divine messenger. I'm surprised she sent you in the first place after Gail's uh, debacle. <laughs> what message and what charge would that be? Speak fast, for none of this pertains to me. That's a lie. We're we're intrigued. Nellie would absolutely be intrigued by direct divine messaging. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill suited for the hardships of the road. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so. 
You're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistral would consider... forgiveness? She would consider... what she considers to be forgiveness. Mistral is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the Absolute. That most insidious of evils. All right, if the goddess herself is aware, I wouldn't say no to some divine intervention. If even the gods know, why are we facing these threats alone? You wouldn't happen to know of a cure, would you? Some all-powerful parasite-withering spell, perhaps? <laughs> hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, this one's really tempting, both in character for Nellian and because of the voice line that we get, you know, constantly. I wonder if the gods are watching. Well. Hmm. And we are always after information, and this is a question. They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are do not realize what waves we are building up to be. Do not discount yourself, and by the same token, do not discount your enemy. You must know that the Absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive. It threatens all who live, even those who are undying. It threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Gale, alone? How so? <laughs> Mistra is mistaken. I will be the Absolute's destroyer. Ooh, nope. We are we are questioning a curious gal. The orb. Precisely. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, oh. you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at will interesting this could be help or hindrance we shall have to see you must find the heart of the absolute whatever that may be and use yourself as the um, catalyst that will Burn it from this world. That sounds a lot like Kamikaze. That's monstrous. You're asking him, tasking him to kill himself. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. Such is Mistress' promise. With Good that, as redemption I've and death. My sorry peace. I need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. Italian Ras Annas It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest of journeys. Can, can your 27 intelligence come with us? On my honor, it shall be done. 
There's still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. I'm not his keeper, and I do not accept your charge. <laughs> Ooh, both of these are very good. There's still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. You know what? Yeah. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas, so too the sky-strewn gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, an ocean born in lonely hours, come, ebb, come, flow, come, all that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Yeah, yeah, we are fate. I get the it. Waves of fate can break upon the shores of will. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Okay. Oh, another achievement <laughs> for stabilize. I wonder if there's different ways to do that. Hmm. All right, let's uh, check in with everybody and see how they feel about I this. Going to talk. Oh, was that Gail's granddad? Oh! Ah! <laughs> looked like it. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell her who it was. That was Elminster Almar, the most famous wizard in the realms. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't ring a bell. But all right. Must have had something important to say to Gail if he came all this way. Oh, hon. Good news, I hope. Oh, hon. I don't think it was. It turns out Gail has an explosive bomb in his chest, and Mr. has asked him to use it to blow up the heart of the Absolute. <laughs> Whoa, now. He's got a... Well, I guess that would explain a little, but... Mistra. <laughs> I mean, this is a lot to take in. You What's and he have something in common. Do? The whole exploding chest thing. Um, I'm not sure. I think he's of several minds. Well, tell him to pick the right one. <laughs> well, better yet, I'll do it. <sighs> Fucking wizards, man. They always need help picking the simple, obvious option. If Mistra can't think of another way to stop the Absolute than sacrificing Gale, she's no god worth worshipping. I'll say that to Gale in, you know... Gentle terms. Oh, that's so cute. Good job, soldier. You're such a good bean. Today is just camp camp discussion day. I can't believe Mistress demanding Gail sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. Well, and a waste of a perfectly good Gail. I suppose. Had me in the first half. And at the end. <laughs> yes. What? what <laughs> perfectly good cult we could be controlling. Oh, I'll catch a break. Uh, Hal said no, no comment on the most um, famous wizard of the realms. You wish to speak? <sighs> Nothing. Okay, cool. A shame my first brush with the famed Elminster couldn't be a tad more optimistic. Listen, I might invoke the triad from time to time, appeal to Helm, but I'm no man of faith, not like Gale. I don't know what drives a man to consider his own death among countless others to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. To me, it all sounds like nonsense. The faith that matters most is that which you hold in yourself, in the ones that most matter to you. Big Bomb be damned. Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the Absolute already. Talent, nerve, and powerful allies at his side. I hope he'll come to see that. Aww. Well met. Hell yeah. Alright, next up, we pet Scratch, because of course we do. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Yeah. Did Elminster give you pets? He better. 
if you didn't, here's, here's me making up for it. Always in the grass, though. What's up with that? Come back to you, Gail. We, we've got some, some commentary to acquire. I can't believe Mistra actually expects Gail to just sacrifice himself like that. Seems like a waste of a fine mind. Early pause. Aren't you willing to do the same for Char? Like, hypocrite much? Okay. That was it though, right? Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? To point out your hypocrisy, but you won't let me. Uh, so, so I know you just had a big old crisis, but thoughts? Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Oh. Some of his works have been translated to Tisu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Near as I can tell, Mistra demands Gale's faith, but holds no faith in him. Why else would she demand Gale sacrifice himself, and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlacketh may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mm. Mistra is concerned only for herself. Mm. Bah. Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. Oh god, the hypocrisy with you two. Yep, there goes OBS. Yep, that's fine. Local recording. Fuck you. You must have questions. Yeah. Didn't you clock the fact that Blacketh is, like, using you and you're, like, prey to be consumed and you just... Alright. It is time to check in with Gail, then. Unless, Volo, do you have something to say? Are you, are you intrigued by seeing Elminster? Are you going to pen a mighty ballad? Ah, my good fella! Quite the cozy you setup. You were not here. paying attention at all. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank all right. You so much. Did you? Do you see? You're still missing all that gold. You sure are. That's very disappointing, my man. Oh, but the scrolls that he had. Oh, they're up here now. Interesting. He's got more camp supplies too. Enfeeblement, protection, sleet storm. Alright, what if I go to trade mode? No weapons. Is that consumables? He wants 15 gold for a fucking zucchini. I, I assure you, a glass chalice is not a consumable. We cannot eat that. The grease bottle counts as a magical item, if you say so. I don't think that's accurate. Alright, anyway. Gale time! An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But... Those are hard to come by these days. Apparently. I'd always imagined Elminster to be more imposing. An old man with a craving for cheese. Hardly the great wizard of legend. <laughs> he didn't seem much a friend showing up and demanding you kill yourself. You know what? Yeah. I'm, I'm a little angry about the fact that this is a suicide mission you've been given. It's not a demand he wanted to make of me. As mistress chosen, he had no choice but to deliver her message. However much it pained him to do so. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. 
A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling to realize how little of it one might have left. You're seriously considering it? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time, close my eyes, and let go. Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted, the absolute will be gone, and I along with it. Hmm. I don't understand. Can't Mishra just destroy the absolute or Elminster himself? Yeah, so that's it. You're on a suicide mission now. There's surely another way. What about me? Am I no, we're not making it about us. Whatever you do. Whatever you need to do, I'll be there to help. Hmm. Listen. We're not we're not gonna be super angry mad, but we are gonna prod. I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, AO would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. There's surely another way. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified it. But alas, only one solution is offered. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. You're not blowing yourself up, Gail. I won't let you. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. You may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. Doubt. How can I help? Don't blow yourself up. Ooh, is Mistra always such a demanding goddess? How are you feeling? Can't be easy facing the possibility of death. Ooh. We're gonna prod a little more. Is she always so demanding? She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. Hmm. Oh, I get to ask both. Nice. Oh, you know me. Never the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. Hmm, <laughs> okay. We got some journal updates also, huh? Oh, right, okay. Wizard of Waterdeep. Okay. We met the great wizard Elminster, weary from his time on the road. He wanted to speak with Gale about an urgent matter. We should follow up on this in camp. Destroy the heart of the absolute. Gale's mentor, the great wizard Elminster, sought him out in order to deliver a message from Mistra herself. She instructs him to find the heart of the absolute and destroy it by detonating the orb. Elminster granted Gale a powerful spell in order to do this and has stabilized the orb to grant him enough time to find it. This would be suicide for Gale. We need to learn more about this heart and how else it might be defeated. Agreed. Is there anything down here that's new that got completed recently? No? Cool. Get the Yankee Warrior. All right. We failed to extract the Mind Flayer Parasite and made an enemy of Queen Blacketh. Lazel needs time to consider the ramifications. Then we're going to be traveling to Baldur's Gate. Kithrak Voss appeared at our campsite and claimed the one in the artifact is the key to liberating the Githyanki people from Blacketh's tyranny. 
we agree to meet him in Baldur's Gate, where he knows of someone who can break the artifact's resident free. Okay. Let's make sure we don't have anything hiding for our other friends. No? Okay. We still have stuff to do with that book that I gave to Asterion. Help Kithrak boss. Meet Voss in Baldur's Gate. Kithrak boss, visit our camp, ask him for you, agreed to help bring uh to bring the prison to Baldur's Gate and meet him there in in Sharas Charas or something like that. <laughs> How's our find a cure quests going? They are all marked complete, and yet this main category is not, so. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Shadow Cursed Lands. Alright. Um. Let's see if anybody has anything to say after that conversation. Well, hello. What can I do for you? That looks like a no. Okay. We'll just double check with Will real quick. Well met. Hi. Okay. Lovely. Wonderful. So, that means we may safely leave camp. Hopefully. Okay, we are back out here. We are going to save again. And we've got dead critters. What's this sign say? Do not walk in darkness. Turn to the light. I've, I've literally got the blood of Lathander. I think we'll be okay. Ooh. Actually, since this is a mace, a one-handed mace, I think... Is this the light hammer? Can I, can I use this in my offhand? No. Man! Can I put the javelin in my offhand? No. Hmm. Did I leave <laughs> a dagger with anybody? <laughs> or or even I have this extra shield. We can use that for now, sure. Okay. We're all grouped together. Hopefully my buddies stay close. I kind of want to... I feel like a combination of having speak with dead and speak with animals should let you speak with dead animals. Was someone there? Skeletons and creatures killed with... Uh -huh. Doesn't work on undead. Okay, but... Alright, what now? I'm, I'm very curious about this. Um, where is the... Yeah, that one. Just, just to see. Can I... Speak with dead? Can't target beasts. Okay. That's fair, I suppose. Big old animal carcass with a bone. I'm allowed to harvest one bone. Whoosh. Um, do they have anything exciting to say out in the field? Need something? Apparently not. Alright. Um. Is there anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. Plane. Another sign. Do not enter. Uh huh, uh huh. What about this one? Beware of the shadows. Yeah, yeah, clocked. 
these shadow cursed dead creatures don't even have meat on them. What a bummer. Is that a grave marker? Can't read that one. That looked a lot like this just wiggled like it's gonna break. I am a little frightened. Oh, please don't stay standing on that bridge. Friends. Thank you. Where's, where is this blue jay? What the hell? Is it under the rock? No. Is it? Anything of use? That blue jay was under the rock. This place so creepy. Oh, to the shadow cursed lands. Okay. Okay. Just a little little loopy loop. Hmm. All right, we're gonna go through. I kind of want to take the elevator up out of Grimforge. But I, I f have a feeling it's going to spit us out here as well. You are about to regress your adventure. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. Aw, oh, shit. Do I want to do my level ups and pilfering? No. I'm holding off on leveling up because like, I'm already level 6, right? I've got level 7 ready to go. I might have level 8 ready to go by the time I actually do the level up. But I'm trying to get to a new vendor who might have cool shit that I can relieve them of, you understand. Casters' weapon attacks won't be as effective as their spells. Yes, of course, they're casters. Oh, beefy loading, okay. The dead three, Balbane and Merkel, were once mortal were, were all once mortal men, but ascended to godhood in a strange bargain with Jurgle, the original god of death. Like a doop! Aha! Leave Act One! It happened! It's finally happened! I have left Act One formally!